Hi, I'm here at International Armoured Vehicles 2019 with the head of uh, the Innovation Programme Centre at Rafael Advanced Defence Systems, who have unveiled the uh, suit for future armoured vehicles for the first time. Could you uh, describe the system, please? Yes, the suit for uh, future ar armoured uh, vehicles that uh, Rafael is uh, developing uh, needs to deal with uh, two challenges that we get uh, from the customers. One is uh, to reduce the amount of uh, uh, operators in the vehicle to two uh, crew members only. And the other th thing is to give them a, a situation awareness while they are sitting in the chassis in the hall of the vehicle with uh, uh, unmanned turret around them, which they, it means that they are not operating with the head outside. Uh, Rafael's solution for those two challenges was uh, this uh, suit that you are seeing here. We uh, dealt with the situation awareness by uh, tying uh, cameras into one uh, very human logic uh, uh, transferred cockpit. That the, the crew have the feeling like he is uh, seeing the live vision outside from windows while actually he see it by computer screens. The fact that uh, we give him 360 degrees of, uh, of life vision of what's around him is coming to help him with the fact that he cannot take his head out. But by doing it in electro-optical capabilities, actually we give more advantages because since we have a very good uh, 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 computized vision uh, uh, department in Rafael, we bring to those screens all the information that those two crew members need. We are augmenting all the information over those screens. Uh, we augment them the uh, enemy situation, friendly forces position, what will be their next uh, uh, position that they want to take. So they like looking at the village from the mountain above and all the information is screened on the village. The third thing is since it's touch screens of computer, the communication and all the procedures inside the vehicle between those two uh, uh, crew members is very, very simple, very, very quick, very, very quiet. And they can just, if, if you can see on the, on the video uh, 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 beside me, the, the way that they uh, move the information between one to each other, the way that they are operating the vehicle, very, very simple. So we get a much better situation awareness than what I used to have when I took my heads with uh, one eye out of the, of the hitch. But we still have the, to deal with the fact that there are only two crew members in the vehicle. And uh, we dealt with this challenge by adding a third crew member. Actually, there are three crew members. Two of them are human. And the third crew member, it's autonomous robot that do most of the things that the crew member is supposed to do by, in an autonomous way. So uh, uh, we uh, 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 look at them as three crew members. They switch uh, tasks between themselves according to the scenario. Now the right one is driving and the computer is searching. Now the left one is shooting and the computer is driving. So the computer can do any of the tasks of the crew members uh, while he's uh, operating. And uh, he's, uh, uh, this computer, by a very uh, 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 high level of algorithmic, is uh, helping the crew in deciding what is the best way to drive through and driving it autonomously. Helping the crew to choose what is the best uh, uh, position of the sights while he's moving according to the enemy situation. And of course he can uh, update it while the situation, the enemy situation is changed or the terrain is changing. And decision, and the decision of w what will be the best solution to close the loop, what is the best weapon si uh, system to close the loop when there is a target that needs to be hit. So that made the, the two uh, crew members to make things much better than what we used to do in the th three or four crew member in the, in the uh, old and the uh, regular tanks that we are uh, operating today. So that together brings the solution for this uh, challenge. Can you tell me a bit about the development process of the system and how far along its trials are going? There are two answers to this question. I can say that the program is running for about two and a half years as an official program. But my uh, main uh, challenge was how to take 30 years of development 
a lot of uh, technologies that were developed in many years in uh, Rafael and in other uh, companies and to integrate them into this vehicle. What you see here in uh, computerized vision is based on uh, things that Rafael is doing in computerized vision, a variety of uh, products that we have around the world, very good products and I'm taking what they have and bring it into my uh, suit. Uh, what you see in the in the uh, computer uh, robotic autonomic decision making takes a lot of the, uh, of, uh, of the uh, experience that Rafael have in uh, this uh, mission planning for uh, Iron Dome or for any other systems that we already done. So officially the program is for two and a half years and we are having uh, every uh, half a year we are having a test to check what we will develop and analysis of the test and bring more uh, advantages to the vehicle but we are taking with us at least 30 years of, of legacy development of, of Rafael and put it into this vehicle. It's very challenging to bring a 2020 uh, technology over a M113 vehicle that operates for 60 years. But if, if, if we can do it to this vehicle, you can imagine what we can do with uh, the new generation of vehicles that uh, we are developing now.